Action News Jax investigates why a JTA bus operator deemed unsafe could soon get back behind the wheel. She was fired in April for being involved in too many preventable crashes and incidents, according to JTA. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. The bus operator appealed that discipline twice and was able to get her job back. Action News Jax investigator Christy Turner is live downtown. Christy, your investigation began in June when we uncovered a different JTA bus operator who hit and killed a passenger, was also fired and then rehired. We thought it was important for passengers like the ones behind me to know if their driver is considered safe. So Action News Jax paid hundreds of dollars for a public records request to JTA asking how many other bus operators had been terminated and then given a second chance. An Action News Jax investigation that began in June finds 79 JTA bus operators have been terminated since January 2017. Eight drivers filed appeals, but only two successfully got their jobs back. That includes John Silney, the driver accused of hitting and killing a mother in Mayport last month. Another bus operator that Action News Jax is choosing not to name was also fired and rehired. In JTA documents, Action News Jax obtained a former supervisor wrote, quote, it is crystal clear that she is an unsafe driver. Records reveal the bus operator was fired in April for being involved in several preventable crashes and incidents, including one where she made contact with a pedestrian. I reached out to JTA to ask why a driver deemed unsafe was given a second chance. In a statement, JTA CEO Nat Ford says we have confidence in our training programs to identify and correct any issues that may occur behind the wheel and to ensure the sound operation of our buses and safety of our customers. I learned the bus operator in question is on hold off status right now as they evaluate the next steps, meaning she's not driving any passengers at this time. I'll have more on the reason the discipline was overturned and what JTA is doing to make sure the driver is safe moving forward. For now, reporting live downtown, Christy Turner, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax.